In this video, I'll show some examples on how to work with probability problems that involve permutations and combinations. For this first example, a gambler places a bet on a racehorse. Uh, to win, he must pick the top three finishers in any order. Ten horses are equal, of equal ability are entered in the race. Um, what is the probability that the gambler will win his bet? And so um, he's just got to pick the top three horses. And so this is a combination problem. The order doesn't matter. And so we have 10 horses. We're going to choose which three are going to win. And um, so 10 choose three. Ten choose three is 120, and so uh, there's only one possible, one correct way to choose the um, top three finishers out of 120 possible outcomes. So the probability is one out of 120. One divided by 120 is about 0.83 percent. Um, Okay, on the next example, the basketball player has a 50% chance of making each free throw. What is the probability that the player makes exactly three out of six free throws? So let's say he makes the first three. So we'll say yes, 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 no, no, no. Okay, so uh, there's a 50% chance that he makes this free throw. So um, 50, um, 50 percent, 50 percent, 50 percent. There's also a 50 percent chance that he misses this one, misses this one, and misses this one. And so altogether that turns out to be um, 0.5 to the sixth power, which is 0. Uh, 0.015625. And um, that's with this one possible arrangement okay but it didn't say we had to have three in a row and then miss three um, so how many ways can we arrange these letters and so um, the way of arranging these letters is six choose three because out of the six spaces we're choosing which three are going to be yeses and um, so this probability needs to be multiplied by six choose three. So we have this um, gives the probability of all those things happening times uh, six choose three. And so times six choose three. And so six choose three is Twenty, and so it's 0 0.015625 times twenty. So it was 0.5 raised to the sixth power times twenty. Turns out to be uh, six point two five. Uh, that is actually uh, 0 0.3125. So uh, let's see, let's try that again. So if we take 0 0.5 to the sixth power and then multiply by 20, yes, 0 0.1, 0 0.3125. So that's about 31.25%. Another way to approach that same problem, instead of doing all these um, 0.5s multiplied by one another, you could say, there are uh, 64 different possible outcomes because there, um, each of the six spaces, we have um, six different shots and each one has two, two possible outcomes. He either makes it or he doesn't. So you could say there's two, 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 two. So that means the um, number of items in the sample space is two to the sixth, which is 64. Uh, the number of ways to have success is um, number of items in our sample space 
is six choose three, which we said is 20. And so the probability of event A happening is um, 20 divided by 64. And that turns out to be 31.25% also. Okay, uh, moving on to example number three. This uh, looks like a very similar problem. We've got a basketball player that has a 50% chance of making a free throw, but it says, what is the probability that he makes at most five of the seven free throws? So at most five means five or less. So then we'd have the probability that he makes um, zero plus the probability that he makes one plus the probability that he makes two plus the probability that he makes three plus the probability that he makes four plus the probability that he makes five. Now that is a lot of different problems that um, we'd have to add up uh, or an easier way to do that is do the complement which is the probability of five or less is one minus the probability of six or more. And this is a much simpler problem because this is probability of six plus the probability of seven. And so we only have to do two calculations that way instead of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six calculations like we would have to do up here by this method. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. So one minus uh, the probability of getting six of the seven. So that's yes, 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 yes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and a no. Um, and so we have seven spaces. We're choosing which five are going to be a yes or which one is going to be a no. So this could be... Um, uh, seven choose six or you could also do seven choose one and so those both turn out to be the same they both turn out to be seven so um, seven divided by the uh, sample space is um, two, 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 which is um, two to the seventh and that is 128. So this is 7 over 128. And then the probability of getting all seven of them is um, there's only one way that happens out of 128. And so we end up with we have 1 minus parentheses, seven divided by 128 plus one divided by 128. And that's about 94%. And it is also, we do math frac, it's also about 15 out of 16, or exactly 15 sixteenths or 94%. Number four. We have seven black buttons and seven brown buttons. If seven buttons are picked at random, what is the probability that exactly three of them are black? Probability of three black means um, that four are blue. So even though it doesn't say that four have to be blue, that's implied in the problem. If we're picking three black, we're also picking four blue because we're picking seven buttons. And so this is going to be, um, there are seven black buttons. So we're, uh, we have seven black buttons. We're choosing three of them. 
and we have seven blue buttons and we're choosing four of them divided by the total number of possible outcomes and that is we have 14 buttons and we're going to choose seven of them. So this will be seven choose three times seven choose four divided by 14 choose seven. So that's about 35.7%. Or math rack is twelve twenty five over thirty four thirty two. In our last example, we have a class with seven girls and five boys. If the teacher randomly picks seven students, what is the probability that he will pick at least four boys? And so at least four, probability of at least four boys equals uh, at least four means four or more. So that means he's going to pick exactly four or exactly five, so uh, four boys plus uh, probability of five boys plus the probability of six boys plus the probability of seven boys. Okay, so um, when he picks four boys, that means he's also picking if they're picking seven students, that means, oh, actually, let's see, there are only five boys, so we can eliminate these two because that's impossible for him to pick six boys. Those would just be zeros because it's impossible that he can pick six boys if there are only five in the pool. And so uh, probability of choosing four boys is um, five choose four. <clears throat> if he's choosing four boys, and that means he has to pick um, two girls. So that's going to be um, seven girls. We're choosing two of them. So this is four boys and two girls. Okay, so that gives you that and that gives you that. And then we're dividing by the total number of possible outcomes, which is uh, there are 12 people and we're choosing seven of them. Oh, this should have been um, to choose seven students, he needs three girls. So four boys and three girls. So this is seven choose three. Okay, and then if he chooses five boys, then he needs to choose two girls to make seven total. So that's five boys choose five times seven girls, choose two, over 12 people, choose seven. So the rest of that we can do on the calculator. Let's look at our denominator first, 12, choose seven. Twelve choose seven is 792. They both have the same denominator, so that's why I did that. And then on top, we have five choose four, which is just five. That is five. And then seven choose three. Is 35. And five choose five is one, 
and seven choose two. Just going to grab that and change that to a two is 21. And so then we have five times 35 plus 21 divided by 792. I came out with 24.7%. which is 49 over 198, about 25%. So that's it for today's lesson and those examples of doing probability problems with permutations and combinations. Have a great day, everybody.